This lecture is going to introduce uh, how to troubleshoot the packet loss. Uh, the packet loss is a common failure occurring in the networks, so it has great influence on network services. Locating and troubleshooting packet loss are necessary skills of network engineers. First, uh, we have three contents. First, diagnostic tools. To, to locate the packet loss, we can use this. We can use this command like uh, display MAC address to check the MAC address table, and display attribution table, display ARP uh, to check the ARP entries in the device on the device, and display STP brief to check the interface status of the uh, STP to see if it's caused by the blocking of the interface and display traffic policy statistics of the interface outbound or inbound. Now there are two kinds of packet loss is layer 2 packet loss and layer 3 packet loss. First that's layer 2 packet loss. For layer 2 packet loss, these are the roadmap first, uh, the layer 2 communication fails. Then we should locate the packet loss device. When we locate the device, we should check the VLAN and the MAC address. Check the interface and the link. Check whether the outbound interface is congested. If after all of these actions, it still cannot be solved. We should contact Huawei. So first, uh, locate the packet loss device. How to locate the packet loss device? We can configure. We can configure a traffic policy on the inbound and outbound interfaces according to traffic forwarding paths. For instance, here is the device. The traffic is go into from this port, out from this port. So we should configure ACL to match pin packets from 1.1.1.1 to 2.2.2.2. Then apply uh, the ACL to the traffic policy. Finally, we should apply the traffic policy to the inbound interface and outbound interface. After we design, after we uh, specify the traffic statistics, we should check the traffic statistics uh, of the inbound and outbound interfaces to see whether the packets are lost on this device. Sorry, wait a second. So from the results of the inbound and outbound statistics, we can see the, how many packets has been passed, how many has been dropped here. Uh, then if we can locate that uh, which device is the packet loss occur, then we can check the VLAN and the MAC address on that device. Display, for example, is this VLAN is VLAN 100? Uh, we can use display VLAN 100 to see the uh, interface. Make sure that the inbound and outbound interfaces are in the same VLAN. Then uh, display MAC address. Uh, this is the MAC address. Make sure that the MAC forwarding entries are as planned. 
uh, check multiple times whether micro address flapping occurs. Next, we should check the interface and link. Uh, display the interface to check the status is up or down, then the speed, the duplex mode, and negoti negotiation mode. Make sure they have the same duplex modes and same rate. Then we can check the whether error packets exist. Next, check whether congestion occurs on the outbound interface. Uh, here, display this interface. This is a discard number of the packet. If the number of discarded packets on the outbound interface is in compliance with the RFC, the cause is congestion of discarded packets. Next, uh, layer 3, unicast forwarding packet loss. For layer 3, um, for example, first, the pin operation between devices fail, which will locate the packet loss device. Also, it's like the layer 2. Then, check the routing and ARP entries. Then, check the interface and link. Check the traffic congestion. Okay. First, uh, locate the packet loss device. The packet loss device, this action should be the same as layer 2 packet loss. Uh, we can use ACL, we say L2 design a policy then uh, to check if there are some statistics of the dropped packets. Then we should check the routing and ARP entries, whether uh, it is, there is a correct route to destination on the device to display IP routing table with the destination IP address. Then we should check whether the next stop of the route is reachable using common pin test. This is the next stop, and we should check if this next stop is reachable. If the next stop is in the direct connected network segment, then we should check whether the ARP entries are correctly learned. So display ARP, and with this IP address, there should be an ARP address and a MAC address, this entry should be correct. Uh, so you are recommended to check the routing and ARP entries multiple times to determine where, whether ARP or root flapping exists. So next, uh, check the interface and link and check traffic and congestion. They are the same, same of, as that of the layer 2 pack loss actions. So we will not repeat it again. Okay, so for, for the packed loss, uh, it has been done. 